Hi, this is AFB.net call and we see learn and practice course. Today in this lesson, let me show you how to work with the view and layout. Part 3, let's get started. Let me open Visual Studio. And this is the project we are working on for the view and layout. In the previous lesson, I already created a, my text layout and also a index views to test this layout. Before continue working on this views and layout, let me run this project in the browser. Go to debug and click on start with the rebugging option. You go to the URL and change this URL to the news. This is the default layer we have created in the previous video in my text layer. We have the header, footer, and main body content here. Let's go back to the Visual Studio. You back to the My Test Layout. You see here in My Test Layout, we have title, e index. And here in the index, we don't have anything to identify the title for this page. So, in this lesson today, firstly, I will guide you how to use the view data to pass the data between the layout and index. Let me come back to the my text layout. And here, in this of using a static text here, let me use a dynamic. I will use the view data. A view data and then I will provide a name it will be the title you can enter any name here because for now we are getting and define the data for this title so we should use the same name of this tag here for meaningful copy this one and then you back to the index.cshtml. In the code here, underneath of the layout, you have the view data. Let me delete the add here. And then I will provide the name for this title. For example, I will have the news title testing and then save it up open the browser before refresh this browser you see in the title here the title default will be the index let's refresh this one and you see the new title had been updated. News title testing. That means for now we are able to get the dynamic title from the view data. So now, what does it mean for view data? For the view data, it is a dictionary. It will be used to share the data between the controller, layout, and view. For example, when you want to share any data between the view and layout or the controller with layout, so you can define the data in the view and then you can receive the data in the layout. The same thing when you define the data for view data in the controller, you can also receive the data in the layout. Okay, so let me continue. 
for example, sometime in the web page, you want to use some the JavaScript or any other script to manage some the alerts or something like show in the view. So, how to handle it in the depth layer? I mean the layer for the project. Okay. Let me show you the demonstration. We have, we will use the render section in the layer at render, render section. And then you have to define the name. It will be Swift. And we have other parameter in the Boolean option. It will be the require. The require here will have two value, true or false. Show here. Let me try to set the option is true. The true mean when any the view using or inherits the layout from this master layout show. You have to define the script in the view as a Y. It will be render an arrow on your web page. Let me show you. You back to the view. Open browser. And you try to refresh this web page. You will be getting this error message. It says that invalid operation exception. We cannot find the session script in the content page index. And it will also highlight the render session in red color here. That means we have to define a script in the render index here. So before define any section in the index, let me open back the layout. I will change the values for require here back to the four. When we set the value for require E4, that means this render section is e optional. Let me open back the browser. And then I will try to refresh this one. So you see after I change the value and then I refresh this web page, it will be working fine. The arrow will be disappear. So let me come back to the view. And then I will try to define a section here. Section. It will be a script. Okay, this one is a script. You have to name it with the same script here. Otherwise, it will be having the error message. I will have the script. In this script, I only want to have a hello world message. For testing, I will be using the alert. Let me open back the browser and then I will refresh this one. So, after you refresh this one, we can see the hello world message. Cool. And you can also open the view page source to see the script here. Let me delete this one. And then I will change this one back to true. Open browser again, refresh it. So error message will be appear again. Let me back to the index and then I will repeat the content for the script hello one. 
refresh this one. Yeah. And you see the website will be back. And you see here the last step in this lesson. On the top, we have the layout. It will be equal to the my text layout. This line of code will be specified. The layout of this index will be using the my text layout. So, what happened if I delete this line of code? Let me comment it out. By default, if we don't specify the layout for this, this web page, this view on the top of the page show, it will be how to apply the default layout of our web page. It will be defined in the view start dot html file here. Let me open it up. Yeah. So in the view start, we have layout equal the underscore layout. That means I come back to the view. When I when I did this the view here, the default layout here, and then I back to the browser and try to refresh this one. It will be back to you the default layout of our web page. The same thing. If I back to the view start and change the name for this one to the my test layout. And come back to browser. Refresh this one. Show it will be using the styling in the my test layout for all of the best in our project. So here, let me change it back to the default layout. So let's finish this session and we will continue to go on this in other lesson in the next time. Bye bye. See you later.